Hi, you are engaging in the ELA Guidebooks Unit, Malala. Throughout this unit, you will read about influential people from different cultures who took risks that impacted the world around them. In the anchor text, I am Malala, you will read about a girl who became an activist for women's rights in Pakistan. Today, we will build background knowledge about Pakistan's location, climate, and culture to help you better understand Malala's choices and impact. Be sure to have your handout and something to write with for the video. Pakistan is a country located in South Asia. It is bordered by Iran, India, China, and Afghanistan. The southern border is the Arabian Sea. Pakistan has a variety of landscapes including mountain ranges, plateaus, river basins, and deserts. Pakistan was previously owned by Britain. Since declaring independence in 1947, Pakistan has struggled with social, economic, religious, and political conflicts internally and with its neighboring countries. Pakistan's diverse landscapes are mirrored in its diverse climates. A large portion of Pakistan is arid and dry. However, during the summer, Pakistan can experience high volumes of monsoon winds and tropical storms from the Arabian Sea. Temperatures across the country range greatly as well. The northern snow-covered mountains can be extremely cold, while the desert areas can reach extreme heat with temperatures above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you are ready to label the map on your worksheet to locate Pakistan and the surrounding areas. Pause this video and answer the question at stop sign number one on your handout. Then press play when you are ready to continue. Let's review your answers. Use the labeled map on the screen to check your answers. Because of Pakistan's lengthy history of political ownership and immigration in both directions, it can be considered a melting pot of ethnic and cultural diversity. Although Pakistan is made up of people of many different ethnicities, almost all people living in Pakistan practice within some sect of the religion, Islam, which majorly influences much of the country's culture. One of the most prevalent and well-known cultural impacts of Islam is gender roles. Islamic-based cultures are primarily patriarchal, meaning they are led by the oldest male family member. This patriarch is expected to make all the important decisions and lead the rest of the male family members in making money to support the family. Women are typically expected to reside and work within their homes. In some richer households, there is a woman's section of the house where women are expected to stay in seclusion. If women do leave the household, many cover their heads. In the recent past, particularly among the very wealthy, inequality between men and women has begun to change. Women have been encouraged to attend school and uncover their heads out when out in public. However, in some areas, women are still viewed as inferior. Aside from the patriarchal influence of Islam, Pakistan has gleaned many of its cultural traditions, food, and language from countries that surround it. Women are often seen in long skirts or long, loose garment covering the whole body from head to feet, known as a burqa. The tradition of women covering the majority of their bodies in public comes from the Muslim observance of modesty. Men can be seen wearing long coats and sometimes fez hats or caracal hats, made from the wool of sheep which are found in abundance in the area. The two major Islamic holidays celebrated are Eid al-Fitr, which commemorates the end of the holy month of Ramadan, in which Muslims fast daily from before dawn until sunset, and Eid al-Adha, which is an Islamic festival known as the Feast of Sacrifice. 
It commemorates Prophet Abraham's willingness to sacrifice his son as an act of religious obedience. Typical foods found in Pakistan consist of curry spices and hot tea. The herbs used to make these traditional foods are grown in and around Pakistan. Now you are ready to describe Pakistani culture. Pause this video and answer the question at stop sign number two on your handout. Then press play when you are ready to continue. Let's review your answers. You could have written about how in traditional Pakistani culture, a woman's role is working within the home and caring for family, including cooking, cleaning, and raising the children. Women are not viewed as equals to the males in their families, and that women are expected to work within the home and care for family and children, whereas men work to provide for the family. Also, you may have provided examples of dress, food, and holidays like burqas, Aida al -Adha, or curry spices. Now you are becoming an expert in the location, climate, and culture of Pakistan. This will help you better understand the environment in which Malala grew up. After you complete this video, be sure to turn in your handout to your teacher.